Hello everyone. So I'm never really sure what time I should start my streams, so I kind of just kind of estimate it, but we're gonna go with it. So today I didn't expect them to release the summer unit already because you know it's they released uh, the collab like two weeks ago and then they released the part two of the collab with another unit one week ago and then today they released another summer units so it's kind of like they're releasing a lot of units around the same time which I'm not complaining about but at the same time all of these units are pretty damn strong so it's kind of hard to skip any of them in my opinion because they're all pretty strong but we're gonna go into it right now um, we'll do summers at the end but yeah summer I'm using my summer team right now for these event stages are looking pretty nice but I'm still missing that summer Alice but we'll get to that I haven't done any summons only tickets so let's go into the gacha and have a look at the unit in the arc that was released today they do look amazing I mean I'm always down for these summer units they're great <laughs> I mean they always look amazing so Alice type S um, when I saw this I, I woke up and I saw a trailer for the unit and I was like really surprised that they made in another Alice unit because I didn't really expect them to make another Alice but she looks great I mean I can't really say much about that just as she looks great and I, I need it but if you look at her stats she's a machine interesting very good HP surprisingly I don't know why but I'm not complaining about that good HP MP's alright strength and defense are pretty high and good mind too so yeah, pretty good stats there. Attribute resistance, uh, weak to earth. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah, she's a. Uh, you can kind of see, she's a weird unit, but we're gonna go over that in a second. She's kind of like a water attacker, like ice attacker, right? Because you can see a bunch of water and stuff. But the original Alice was a light attacker, so it's kind of strange what they done with this unit but element resistance is she's resistant to stun weakness to blind yeah, overall some good element resistance there let's go over the abilities these are the most interesting ones I think these are kind of like I'm not really sure what to think of these because they're a bit strange like I feel like they could have done a better job with these the skill one is a charge and deal with frontal medium area thunder combo attack so thunder attack is pretty nice we haven't had a thunder unit in a while because we've had ray and guardian angel luke l because they're both still top units so we don't really need a, another thunder unit but i always like thunder units because then i can use solaris ur arc on them increase the damage gap but i don't know what you're going to do with this, this unit really skill one's a thunder thunder attack right makes sense Skill 2, instantly close the gap for a medium area thunder combo attack, another thunder attack, but changes to ice if enemy's ice resistance is lower. Now I do like those skills because then you can kind of cover two elements, but let's say the enemy has 100 resistance to both of them, you can just use Trishula and the attack is always going to be thunder because it's not going to change to ice if it's lower, unless you lower it, of course. But one thing I don't really like, skill 3, pull in enemies in a straight line for a long range ice combo attack. Now, a skill 1 and skill 2 are both thunder, a skill 2 can change to ice, but a skill 3 is only an ice, and it can't change to thunder, which is kind of confusing to me, because that kind of, the point, the thing is, if you have a bunch of thunder attack increases or thunder damage cap increases that's not going to do anything for your skill 3 and your skill 3 is most of your damage on most units so that kind of sucks that she doesn't get has a chance it doesn't change to thunder when the thunder resistance is lower if it did that for a skill 3 then I feel like it would be pretty good but and another thing is her skill 3 is super long animation uh, some people don't really like it so it's not going to be a kind of skill that you can just keep spamming it, it does have a decent hit count though and can do decent damage but 
don't compare it to Logsus or anyone like that. Uh, even the collab units, she might not be as good as them, but I mean, if you look at her, you can't really say no. So, there you go. A special skill now. Alice is all about special skills, right, and special damage. So let's see what she does, what they've done with her. Powerful ice combo attack to an enemy. So one thing I really hated when I first saw this was it's only to one enemy. Now that really sucks because normal Alice is against all enemies and has a very high special damage cap and can just destroy all the enemies. But this Alice won't be able to do that. But it is a pretty good special which we'll go over to when we go to the traits. I think traits. Now actually the skills is a very interesting skill. Changes to thunder if enemy's thunder resistance is lower. Now that is useful. I wish skill 3 would be like that too but that's fine. It's a good special. Because she has two elements in her kit. That means she's going to be useful for even more content. Like uh, enemies that are weak to thunder or ice. She's going to be good, great for that. Because another thing to note is there's not many ice units. There is... Medine shift unit but isn't really any DOH units or any collab or limited units that are ice if you think about it. So I'm great I'm glad they made another unit that has ice, but she also has thunder, so it's kind of weird, but still some interesting skills. So uh, traits these are pretty interesting. The traits are like the main thing, but trait one Movement speed up when two weapons are equipped, so sword and slash or machine, so that's a great combo. In my opinion, sword and machine are the best combo of weapons you can have, because then you can have Trishula and equip any sword, and you have the sword boost equipped, which the sword boost inqui increase your damage by like the most out of any weapon, so I like the sword equips and the, the machines, they are both great. And it means you can have Trishula and the Sword of Lost Souls, which means your special can ignore resistance. So that's a pretty damn good combo. You could do that on her. When you are equipped, physical slash special damage plus 50%, which is great. 50% more damage is pretty high. And physical and special damage cap plus 8,000. Now, remember, normal Alice doesn't have any increases to her normal physical attacks, right? But her physical attacks, her skills, did have a pretty high hit count and you could spam her skills and they were pretty good. But she didn't have any damage cap increases, so right now, normal Alice, if you're using her skills, she's probably not going to get, she's probably not going to be able to do a lot of damage because she doesn't have any damage cap increases. But she's mostly for the special damage anyway. But she does have a, this unit does have a plus 8000 special damage cap as well. As physical damage cap which is pretty high too so I feel like she's gonna be pretty strong for both physical and special attacks but we're gonna have to see really just don't start comparing her to other units like Logsus because that's kind of a bad thing to do really I mean one thing I could try and do is compare at this Alice special attack versus Logs are special because Logs are special has 88 hits but a very low damage cap but it's against all enemies as well so but I feel like this ad is going to be very good for against bosses you use your special against the boss it's going to do a lot of damage trait 2 when HP is at least 50% strength plus 50% and defense minus 20% and SCT recovery speed plus 10% now that this is pretty interesting this trait overall is pretty good I mean it's a very interesting thing because it's like when you got more HP you're gonna do more damage when you got less HP you're gonna be able to survive more hits that's kind of a good thing pretty nice when HP is less than 50% then strength minus 20% but defense plus 50% and continuous regeneration effect so that regeneration effect is only when you're below 50% I'm not sure what happens when you're at exactly 50%. I mean, don't I don't want to get into that because I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. When it's at least 50%. So I'm pretty sure if it's 50%, then it's going to be the strength plus 
but if it's less than 50% then you're going to get that defense bonus which is great and regeneration effect which is very good too. Yeah, she is pretty strong, but some people have been saying the collab units are stronger. Like, Roy is definitely stronger, and Logsus is definitely stronger. But, a big but, is that she is Ice and Thunder, which all of those units are not. So she's going to be great for Ice and Thunder. And, that's mostly it, I think. <laughs> she is another top tier unit, though. Uh, if you ignore the collab and Loxus, she's going to be near the top, like one of the top units, I would say, because the amount of damage cap increases she has, and she's got 5th Enhance, all the new units will have that. So she is going to be a pretty good unit, but I would say she's probably worth trying to summon for, but I'm going to assume most people probably don't have many crystals left, because we've had Loxus Banner, then we had the collab, with a lot of good units and arcs and stuff so i feel like most people probably won't have many crystals left so you could if you wanted to spend this time to save your crystals but in my opinion it's hard to do that because she looks so great and she is going to be pretty strong too and i feel like she's going to be fun to use since she's ice and thunder i'm definitely going to want to get her but we're going to do summons later so her skills So this is an Alice unit, it's a shift of Alice, so she has Aether full release, which is huge. It's kind of like, uh, I always forget the name, Honey Elixir. It's basically a Honey Elixir, same as Honey Elixir, but on the unit already. So that's great. This skill on normal Alice was pretty good too. It is a very good skill, so I'm glad she has this. As well as activate Slayer mode. Now one thing to note is there's nothing in her traits about activating Slayer mode as soon as battle starts. So that's a thing to keep in mind. That she's going to be quite a bit different than the normal Alice. Because I'm pretty sure her special is going to charge a lot less, I think. Because uh, what I want to do in a minute is go back to look at normal Alice to see the differences, to see what, you know, what's better about normal Alice and different and stuff. But we do that after we've gone through all of these skills. So yeah, activate Slayer mode is very good. I do like Slayer mode, it's great. SCT recovery speed plus 15%. Skills and special use HP for plus 35% damage. I like those kind of skills, they're pretty good. One thing to note though is it's temporary and it requires 40 MP so if you're in a long battle you're gonna need a lot of MP or at least Goddess Kiss or something because then you're gonna run out of MP and if you're using something like a uh, Sharp Eyes then you might not be able to activate this le later on in the battle which is really important so you're gonna need some kind of way to get MP which is a thing to think about really Fighting Spirit for Strength and HP plus 10% as well, great. I do like Fighting Spirit since she's also got Resolve Up for because she is a machine unit. She's going to be going to have a lot of defense as well, which is great, as as well as doing good damage. Now she's got Crit Up 2 and 3. This is like the best combo of Crit Ups. Crit Up 2 and 3 with Proud Force is like what I, I like to use on every physical attacker. The fact that she's got advanced aim vitals is good too, but it doesn't really matter that much. But it is a nice bonus though for more critical damage. But mostly the critical up 2 and 3 saves a lot of SC. Because I know critical up 3 is like 7 SC. And critical up 2 is 4 I think. So they're saving a lot of SC there. As well as proud walls too. Anti-physical armor. Charged in the negate physical damage is also pretty useful. Uh... Against bosses that do magical damage, not really going to do much, but she is mostly higher defense than mind, but she does have good mind too. Now, a new skill here, kind of new, well, it is new, but Ocean Slayer. Sounds very interesting. I'm glad she has Slayer. She also has special boost. Ocean Slayer, physical attacks are effective against soldiers, fish, dragons, and stones. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, think about this. 
There is another, I think it's like Beast Slayer or something. That one is effective against a lot of enemies, but most of those enemy types are not bosses. But think about it like this, Ocean Slayer has, I don't know why it includes soldiers and stuff like that, but I'm not complaining about that. Soldiers is going to be pretty useful. Fish uh, is, I think there's a few bosses that are fish, I'm not sure. That's going to be useful. Dragons are pretty huge because I know there's quite a few dragon bosses, so that's pretty great. And stones, uh, you've also got a few stone bosses, so I can see this being pretty useful. She doesn't have any god slayer or anything like that, but uh, this ocean slayer is still pretty strong, I would say. Special boost, add to that, it's great. Great combo when you've got a slayer with special boost. Ice high drive, if she had ice mega drive, that would be great. But ice high drive, I don't have, I still am missing... The SSR arc from the Medine banner. I still don't have it. So I can't put Ice High Drive on her. But she's already got it on her. So I don't have to worry about that. And this limited arc has Ice Drive. So you can put that on this unit. Which would be a good combo I'd say. Because it increases physical and special power damage. Which I do like drive skills. They're great. Ice Attack Rise 2. Also nice to have. Not the best but still good. And this is where it gets kind of weird. Uh, you're seeing thunder, you're seeing ice attack raises here, right? And then you're also seeing thunder attack raise one, thunder critical raise one. There's no thunder high drive. There's no thunder attack raise two. There's thunder critical raise. It's just kind of a weird build, really, but it's kind of interesting, you know. And the fact that she's, the, they're trying to make her focus on two elements. I feel like if she were to focus only on ice, for example, then they would be able to make her a stronger unit because she's going to have more ice damage increases. And instead of putting some like thunder attack rays, you could have like ice attack rays instead for all of her attacks. But it's still good that she has two elements. It's kind of a good and bad thing if you think about it, really. And another thing to I just realized is the wards. If you have a ice damage cap increase ward and a thunder damage cap increase ward, both by 100, they're both going to apply to this unit because this unit has two elements. So that's a very good thing to note. It's not a huge thing, but I still think it's a good thing to know, you know. <clears throat> Still a good thing to know, because it's going to benefit you more, I think. So, Pose of Glory, slightly recover SCT when defeating an enemy is pretty useful. I didn't realize she already had Goddess Kiss on her. That is a pretty good pog there. First time I said that word. Goddess Kiss saves a lot of SC, and it's going to allow her to use a Slayer mode more often because then if you if you have ran out of MP you can just spam normal attacks I haven't looked at how good a, or bad her normal attack is I don't know how it is like but I'm glad she has goddess kiss this is gonna be huge very huge bless speed seems like she got she's gonna be pretty fast because her trait also increases her speed as well as this so that's gonna be pretty useful now, something that uh, you could be concerned about is the fact that they put true dual wield. Now, what is true dual wield? Well, we're about to find out. It sounds like it's going to be stupidly strong because dual wield is always is already the best ability in the game, arguably. So, <laughs> uh, where's this going to go? Well, this is what it does. They change the descriptions of some abilities recently so it's going to be a bit different the normal dual wield is description is changed too but this is what it is another weapon can be equipped in the place of armor so like normal dual wield two weapons equipped and physical it doubles the physical attack and special hit count but each damage is reduced to 60 percent so Dual wield, I don't know if it did it, did this before, but it decreases the damage to 60%. I don't think it might be a new thing, 
because before I don't know if it decreased the damage to six percent or not. I really don't know. It, it might have been in the code somewhere. People might might know it if it did or not. I don't know because it didn't say in the description before. But it might be a new thing. It might be the same as it always been. But the thing with true dual wield is it doubles the special hit count. <laughs> and now this on a unit like Alice, which this is Alice, that if the, if she if a special was against all enemies this would be stupid broken right but they kind of make up for that because it's against one enemy so her special is going to do double hits and it's going to be against one enemy and it's going to have a stupid high damage cap now think about that that's going to be some pretty ridiculous damage there against one enemy i feel like that's going to be pretty damn strong like very strong uh, I, I looked at some damage numbers, I'm pretty sure a special can hit a maximum of around 2 mil damage in one special, which is pretty huge, but you've got to build her pretty well to be able to achieve that. But, the fact that she can do that is pretty great. Sword high boost is great, I was going to save SE for putting that on her, because she already has it, so that's great. Machine boost so she's going to equip sword and machines because of her trait as well. Machine boost and machine mega boost. I do like mega boost. Increases damage cap of physical attacks. So now she's got a plus 10,000 damage cap for her physical attacks. So pretty much she's already reaching 20,000 for her physical attacks. Which I do like. <laughs> I do like those damage numbers. Uh, it's kind of common in new units now I think. Where the past few new units has been common but. I do like reaching, reaching 20,000 in their kit alone, that is pretty great. Uh, one thing to note is if you've got Solaris UR Arc, that has Machine High Boost. You could put Machine High Boost on her and Sword Boost and that's going to be pretty great. That's going to be even more damage, which I'm most likely going to do that because I do like these weapon boosts, they're pretty good. Quick Trigger is great. The chance to charge any of your skills by one is pretty huge. Giant killing. I do personally like this. More damage, skill and special damage to bosses. Now, uh, think about this. <laughs> their special is going to do a lot of damage. And they're making a special do even more damage to bosses. So, I can kind of see. They're making her... I can see she's going to be a good boss killer. If you build her rights... If you have Sword of Lost Souls, she's going to be able to kill like a bunch of bosses. <laughs> this is going to be pretty fun and entertaining to see her do a ridiculous damage in a special. Even more than normal Alice. Even though normal Alice is against all enemies and charges really fast, but still. This is great. Auto, auto Slayer mode. There we go. I realize this auto slayer mode is a skill not a trait so there you go auto activates slayer mode at the start of the battle which is huge which is this more SAT recovery speed and skills and special use HP for more damage uh, one thing she doesn't have which is either a good or bad thing is uh, traits on normal Alice when you have slayer mode activated you had a plus 15,000 special damage cap increase. She doesn't need to have her special, her boost, Slayer modes activated to get that damage cap increase in this unit. But she does still need to have Slayer mode activated to get that boost of that SET speed and special more skill damage and stuff. So, it's kind of a good and bad thing because she's getting less damage cap increases but it's going to be activated all the time. So I would say that's a good thing really. And these three skills down there. Down here are also new skills. Activate raid program. Continuous haste protection and critical. This sounds great. I like haste. Protection is also great. And critical is also pretty huge too. Because then. Critical up two and three. Um, I can see a, quite a few different builds for her personally. Because. She's an ice attacker. You could put on icy guardian because that 
adds an extra ice attack to every critical, and she's got critical upper 2 and 3, as well as continuous critical. So that can be a pretty good thing if you want her to do a lot of skill damage, that could be a way to build her. But if you want her to do a lot of special damage mostly, then you could start thinking about UR arcs if you have them. But if you don't, then Icy Guardian is a good arc to use on her because she already has a lot of critical in her kit already. So there you go. Skill 1 and 2 is damage plus 20% and damage cap plus 1000. Now these two skills here are pretty similar but for different skills. The damage cap plus 1000 is only for skill 1 and 2. And the damage is only for 1 and 2, 2, 2, 2. And this one is skill 3 and special damage. So wait a minute. This is skill 3 and special damage plus 30%. And the damage cap plus 2000. I'm assuming the damage cap is going to apply to both skill 3 and special. Like it does to this one. It's going to apply to both skill 1 and skill 2. So this is going to be pretty good. Um, I think that means in her kit already she's getting a plus 10,000 damage cap to her special. Which is pretty strong. And she also get a plus 10,000 damage cap to her physical attacks. Plus... Plus 1,000 to a skill 1 or skill 2, and 2,000 more to a skill 3, so I can see some pretty good damage numbers there. So overall, I do think she's going to be a pretty damn strong unit. Um, she is going to be one of the, a top tier unit, but not the best unit in the game by any means, but she's still worth trying to do a few summons for, but if you're free to play, then probably save your crystals, because... You're probably not going to have many crystals left because of Loxus and the collab that just happens. Those are quite important. So I would say if you really want this unit then do pulls for her because she looks great and she is going to be really useful. She's going to be, her special is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage to single targets. So mostly for bosses. So I can see she's going to be pretty useful in the future for bosses because of the special. And... Her skill damage and physical attacks are also going to be pretty strong. Like normal Alice, she doesn't have any skill, her uh, physical damage cap increases, but this unit does. And you can also look amazing while killing, destroying everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go over to normal Alice and then we'll go over the arc next. But I kind of want to compare normal Alice to this Alice. And obviously you can see the looks definitely a lot better go back so I do have normal Alice I was pretty lucky with normal Alice because I when she came out I thought she was bad because she had no physical damage cap increase and I, and I didn't have Eldrivana but then I realized that she's great so this is normal Alice Cyber Slayer Alice so what's different about normal Alice compared to the shift Alice is her trait 1, she get her special refill rate gets a plus 20%. The shift Alice doesn't have that, so she's going to charge her special a lot slower. And this Alice also has a plus 15,000 damage cap to her special. And her special damage is plus 120%, which is huge. So, at this normal Alice is going to be mostly, is mostly focused on special. But the shift Alice is focused on special as well as skill damage physical attacks so um both alice units are gonna get are gonna be useful they're both gonna have a use in this game in content um but if you had a choice between using normal alice or shift alice i would personally use shift alice because she's a newer unit it's gonna be more fun to use uh but it depends on your situation really because if you're using normal Alice, she's going to be able to use a special. Let's have a look at special. It's a light combat attack against all enemies. So, this normal Alice is against all enemies. Which is going to be pretty useful for content and stages that has multiple enemies. Like, for example, a boss stage which spawns a bunch of enemies. She's going to be very useful for that. But shift Alice... Is, is going to be more useful against bosses that are just the boss alone. So I would say if you need single target damage then use shift Alice. But if you need a lot of AoE special damage then use the normal Alice. But 
I would still personally use Shift Alice because of the fact that Normal Alice has zero damage cap increases for physical attacks. But Shift Alice has 8000 damage cap increase to a special uh, physical attacks in a trait. And even more in a skills. So I feel like Shift Alice is going to be more useful than Normal Alice in my opinion. But at the moment we don't have too much content to really use her on. Like there is a few stages like... If I think about it really, there's a lot of boss story stages that have a lot of waves and spawn a lot of enemies, which normal Alice is going to be a lot more useful for than this Alice. So, it's kind of weird really, because they're both good units, but I would personally use Shift Alice, because it's great. But yeah, let's go over the arc now. Paradise Rubel, uh... Another limited arc, and I just realized today, they haven't really released an SSR arc in a while. <laughs> in a permanent pool, it's kind of sad. But they should release one at some point, I don't know when. So, another limited arc. Is it going to be worth getting, or not worry about it, we'll see. HP is alright, MP super low, like really low. That's quite bad, really. Strength is 300 is pretty decent, defense pretty decent, and ints and mines. So those four stats there at the bottom are going to be are pretty decent, but it's nothing like a, a really high strength or anything like that. So mostly in average stats with really low MP. The attributes is kind of interesting. I don't know what I think about it really. For each ally unit. Of a different gender, physical slash magical damage kept taken minus 5%. So if I'm thinking about that, for each ally unit of a different gender, I'm thinking of it as a, I'm thinking of it as like there's two genders, so that's only a maximum of minus 10%. But I don't know if it's like that or not. I really don't know because it could be. For each ally unit of a different gender. If it means like a different gender than the current unit that's equipping this arc. Then this unit could be a female. Everyone could be a male. And then you could get even more bonus from that. But I'm not entirely sure really. <laughs> it's kind of a weird one. And it's not that strong either. Duration of buff supplied to unit by magic. Plus 20%. Uh, not that great, really, because it's only by magic, and plus 20%, the duration doesn't really matter that much. So, there you go. Plus, strength slash int plus 10% for each unit with this arc equipped. Now, I'm really confused. <laughs> I'm stupidly confused. Uh, this is very dumb. I'm, I, you, you don't, you... <laughs> They must be taking something when they thought of this. I mean, I'm... <laughs> this is dumb. This is very dumb. This attribute is, like, dumb. Like, uh, f plus 10% strength and int for each unit with this arc equipped. And you can only equip this arc once on one unit. Unless you're using a support unit with this arc equipped. So that's only a maximum of 20% of int and strength. But... Most of your support units are not going to use this arc at all. So this attribute is kind of like really bad. <laughs> I can't... It, it's just it's really weird. So all I'm going to say about that is... The attribute is kind of really bad in my opinion. It's just kind of weird overall. Because getting a plus 10% strength and ints... Is kind of really bad. <laughs> and the attribute overall is just bad. So I personally wouldn't recommend using it on any units. You're probably mostly going to use it for the skills and the Arc Keeper reward if you're going to get this Arc. So the skills. Fast Metis Ice Drive is unique to this Arc. So if you get this Arc, Ice Drive, huge, pretty huge there. Then you can equip Ice Drive on any of your Ice units, which there isn't many at the moment. If you get this arc, then you can put Ice Drive on Alice, which is going to be pretty good. 
fish shield is interesting. Uh, I personally don't see that being a use in the moment because there might be a f like one or two fish bosses, but apart from that, there isn't really any very hard fish bosses, so it's not really going to be that useful. And there is no units that are fish. Like, there isn't really any fish units, so that's not even going to be useful in Arena either. Summer Festival is new. Battlestar, Autocast, Aura, and Recast. For 3 SC, that is a pretty good deal, but it's not continuous. So, on a unit that doesn't have these already, it's going to be pretty useful. Autocast, Aura, and Recast, that is actually pretty good. But again, it's not continuous. But for free SC, that is pretty good. High Vitality, I'm, I think that's on an arc already. 8 SC though, I don't, it's a bit expensive, I don't, I wouldn't use it. Now. Orgon Ring is pretty huge. In my head, it sounds huge. Boost magical attack damage based on strength. Now this is pretty much like Thaumaturgy Ring. The opposite of Thaumaturgy Ring. Uh, I'm trying to think of any units that have a high strength and int and are good at magic. There isn't many that I can think of really that would benefit from this. I would personally say Thaumaturgy Ring is way more useful. But this skill on this arc is a limited arc so if you do get this arc or uh, Org orgon ring might be useful in the future there might be some future units that are going to benefit from this a lot uh, there isn't many units that are going to benefit from this right now there might be a few like um a few units that are like hybrids Physical attackers and magical attackers could benefit from this. Yeah, for multiplayer. I'm not sure. I, I personally, I don't see this being super useful. But it could be pretty useful in the future. If it is only going to be on this arc for a while then. It might be useful. But uh, magical damage uh, isn't really that big. Like, magical damage, not many people use magic damage at the moment. But it could be useful. Yeah, I'm really hoping I get some good luck, because I, I do really want this unit. I personally don't care about this arc, I just want the unit. So once we get the unit, we're stopping. And then going straight into the event and trying her out. Uh, arc Eva Rewards, here we go. Not the best Arc Eva Reward, but it's, it's there. So, it's an accessory, which is alright. Adds 77 mind, nothing else, which is alright, not, not the best. Could have added some MP too, but... The trait... When taking light physical slash magical damage, chance to recover 30% of damage as HP. Now, 30% of damage as HP is pretty useful, but... I don't see that being a use, really, at all, in most content. Because I, pers I don't see... I can't think of any boss on the top of my head that is light damage focused. Any hard bosses that is focused on light damage, I can't think of that really. And in Arena, there isn't really any light units that we use either. So that part of the trait isn't really that useful. Battlestar Autocast Recast. Now that, it doesn't say it's continuous. But it's still useful. But that accessory trait... And the stats are actually not that good, in my opinion. It's not that great. I would argue to say the paid accessory for Alice is a lot better than this one. But we'll go over that, over that once we get to it, which is quite soon. Now the resistance is you've got plus 15 to light, which is pretty good. And resistance to, I forget what that is, curse maybe. Which is also pretty useful. But I don't see that accessory having that much use. So don't worry about getting it. It's not that important. So overall this arc is a decent arc. But it's not that strong. The attribute is super strange and weird. And you don't use the attribute. You don't want to equip it on anyone. Because like, it doesn't really have any use. 
and the skills on here I would say the main ones Ice Drive, Summer Festival and Orgon Ring are going to be the three that you're going to benefit from if you get this arc but if you don't get the arc then don't worry because you're not missing out on that much and the arcade reward isn't really that strong either so most of the skills are going to be useful and that's pretty much it so yeah overall Alice Type S is going to be a pretty strong unit the arc is going to be a decent unit for the skills that it has but the attribute is pretty bad and the arc reward is not that great either so let's go over the paid equipment now um, so there is a weapon and accessory now um, they are pretty strong but I'm thinking about it really let's just go over the sword first so it's a sword it's a th it's a thunder attribute which is okay I guess thunder is right pretty good it's either thunder or ice so I wish it could have both elements that would be pretty good but whatever strength is pretty decent defense of mind is all right I guess the trait is gonna be pretty good on here thunder attack damage plus 15 percent is great thunder attack damage cap plus 2000 is also great and continuous brave effect now this trait on this sword is pretty strong it is a very good trait but there's a big but big Alice but is that um, if you're fighting someone if you get let's say you're going against a boss and you want to use your special to do a lot of damage against the boss right but their thunder attribute and ice attribute resistance are both pretty high then you won't want to use the sword because you lost souls instead to ignore the resistance from a adapt from a special and might be a better sword than this in my opinion but if you're against an enemy that is weak to thunder or ice or if you debuff them to make them weak to thunder or ice then this sword is going to be pretty useful that's pretty much all i can say really if the enemy is weak to thunder then definitely use the sword but if they're not then use sword of lost souls instead if you had it because Sword of Lost Souls has plus 250 strength, which is pretty high, higher than this, and plus 15% to special and skill damage, and ignores special resistance, so Sword of Lost Souls might be a better sword choice, in my opinion. But this sword trait is still pretty strong, and it has continuous brave effect as well, on top of that, so... I, if I end up having to do a lot of pulls with paid crystals... I might get this sword because it is going to have a use but I would say it's not needed but it is still a strong sword if you have sword of lost souls you don't need it at all but if you do like to use a bunch of paid crystals then you might as well get it but I would say get the accessory and prisms first because there's prisms here too you can get two prisms which uh, you might want to get prisms instead because they can be more useful for the unit but Let's go over the accessory now. I do like this accessory. Only Phallus, obviously. MP plus 50 is nice. More MP, defense, and strength is good. The trait is pretty strong on this accessory. Ice attack damage plus 10%. Now, plus 10% damage on an accessory is pretty strong. And chance for special to deal critical damage and continuous speed effect. Yes. Great stuff right here. Chance of special to deal critical damage is going to be pretty useful. As well as continuous speed effect. So you're going to see Alice super speed, super fast running around everywhere. Because it's got a bunch of speed increases. <laughs> That's going to be pretty good. So um, yeah. This accessory is pretty strong. I am definitely going to get it. Because ice, the ice attack damage plus 10%. Is going to apply to her skill 3. Even though it doesn't increase her damage cap. Uh, it's a good damage bonus. And the rest of the trait is also good. Chance for special to deal critical. And continuous speed. As well as the ailment resistance. Resisting stun. Which is also a good bonus. So uh, I would definitely recommend getting this accessory. Most likely more than the prisms. 
the order I would get these in would be accessory first, then the prisms, and then the swords, probably. But if you don't have Sword of Lost Souls, then then what you're doing, you probably get it. <laughs> but if you if you can't get it right now, then probably get the accessory, and maybe the sword, then the prisms. But it really depends on what you want to do. If you really need the SC on Alice, then get the prisms. They're going to be important. But I would personally recommend getting the accessory first, because it's going to be really useful for her. So definitely get the accessory. The sword is a maybe, because the trait is super strong, but there's a lot of good swords out there, so you could. You don't need to get it. Now, we're going to go into the summons in a minute. One thing I want to note first is you can pity the arc right here for 300 pulls. You can't pity the unit, but you can pity the unit in the step-up gacha. But I'm glad that they put the arc here, because they didn't for the collab and stuff. But yeah, you can call out, you can pity the arc if you really wanted that badly, but I wouldn't recommend to do that. So let's we're gonna be doing summons now. So I do really want this unit more than the arc this time. I don't care too much about the arc. If I do get the arc, then great, so that would be useful. But I want the unit more than the arc because she's gonna be pretty great and fun to use, and she looks great. So can't complain about that. So, we're going to be doing mostly step up gacha. Uh, if I if I have to, then I'm going to pity the unit. It's at lap 4, step 5. Uh, this has 5 laps total, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to be going over the step up gacha first. See how it goes. If we can get her really early, then great. I can save more crystals. And then I can just get the accessory and I'm done. But I might be tempted to get prisms too. But we'll see how it goes really. Uh, this first few summons probably going to skip. But Thorea showed up with three people. So I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to need the luck. But I usually get good luck. But we'll see how it goes. One animation is not enough for red. Yeah, I told you. I'm pretty good at predicting what I'm going to get. Getting 30 of her souls there is pretty nice. I'm going to need the credentials. I Like I said, I want the accessory first. And that's the main one I want, really. Uh, the sword would be nice to get, but what I'm not going to do, I'm not this time, I'm not spending all of my pay crystals just to get the sword and the prisms, because that's going to be a lot of pay crystals. We're skipping this one, unless it's gold. Nope. No reds blue but yeah if i do have to pity the unit then i'm gonna have to use a bunch of paid crystals so at that point i would get all the uh, paid stuff but if i don't have to use many paid stuff paid crystals then i'm not gonna use them all because i, I should definitely save them because i've been spending too much but that's fine don't worry about me come on i know we just started but unit anytime soon really that's only a blue, so another skip for me, because there's no red in this one, two golds. There you go. So lap two is kind of weird. Uh, I do like lap two. See, here we go. Lap two, 1,000 paid crystals for 10 pools is a good deal. 2,000 for 10 pools is good too. And then the 3,000 you get guaranteed SSR. So I am definitely going to do at least this lap, and then I'll see how it goes from there. Hopefully I can get luck. I do really want this unit. She's going to be as my uh, home picture for a while in this game. Come on, there's a gold. Promising. Promising for a red. But, uh... I've been screwed before. Yeah. <laughs> the summoning animations are kind of weird. Let's go. Touch a screen. Is It's going to strike. Are you sure? There's three animations, so likely chances are getting red and there's a red. Be the unit. Arc. Well, 
it, it could, be, could be more than one red or it could be a limited arc chance that it won't be but there's still an SSR arc I don't have and it's only one okay well that was really surprising I really didn't act surprised at all but let's go great stuff we've got the arc already we've only done like hardly any pause <laughs> yeah there you go well this arc is going to be pretty useful, uh, mostly for the ice drive. Uh, it's uh, not the best limited arc. Uh, I, if I got a unit there instead, I probably would have been more happy, but I'm not complaining, okay? I'm happy about that. This great starts, right? Yeah. But it could go downhill, but I just want to keep going up the hill. I want to go up the hill. Even though it's quite steep right now. But yeah, that's... Uh, I didn't look at how many credentials we got from that temple. But I'm pretty sure... Because it's a temple, it should have given us... Given us... 10 credentials. For less than 3,000 crystals, which is useful. So... Let's hope for the unit now. Please, unit. The I'm surprised, really. The first red we got... Was the limited arc. I wish I had that luck from the on the collab, come on gold, there you go, only two people this time, but Theria showed up, so she's usually a good luck sign, but uh, if I get zero or one animations, that's really going to screw it, uh, so come on, three animations, give me unit, 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 units, woo, well, it's not gonna be the. It's not. I swear. If it's the limit, if it's the units already, I'm gonna be happy. But I bet you it's gonna be a dupe. Okay, that's the units. This is great luck. I can't tell you how lucky this is. <laughs> I, yeah. Um. Since it was a unit and it was new. It was guaranteed to be the unit because I have every non-limited unit. So there you go. There's, there's, I can't. I don't, what do I say? I, all I got to say is really, I'm glad the game is making me spend less crystals. Uh, hang on. Let me go to trading space first of all. I'm gonna change my event stage team to Alice there she looks great this is the best team I mean this is the full waifu summer team where's the where's she gone up here I can't why you there you go this is the best team the waifu team right here gonna be amazing okay yeah thanks uh, I really wasn't expecting this I usually don't expect any of this because I'm. It could be any. It's random, but let's go to trading space quickly. Um, what should I do? Because I've got 31. I've got 31 credentials. Uh, what I could do is I could just do zero more pulls. I could do no more pulls and just stop here, or I could use more paid crystals and go for the prisms. And the sword. First of all, I need the accessory, so we're getting that right now. It's great. But we would need to do 19 more to get a sword. Or just 14 more to get a prism. Uh, this is a conundrum for me, because... I, I do want the sword, but at the same time, I want to save pe paid crystals, but at the same time, the sword might not be the best sword to use, but... Yeah, this is great. Okay. Let's, uh, what shall I do now? I definitely want to learn all of their skills. Let's equip the arc. Go to default. There we go. Go to the bottom. There's the limited arc right there. The attributes is terrible, remember that. 
So I like to use Great War of Ruin with the Beast Hunter because that's good for farming. So I've been doing that for materials. So I can put Ice Drive on her. Let me see how much I can level up the arc. I'm pretty certain I'm probably going to do some more pulls. But how many do I have left? So I got enough. The guaranteed red there, so... Yeah, I'm going to do two more temples, I think. And then we'll leave it at that. Two more temples with paid crystals, and then we'll leave it at that, because uh, I'm not going to go and get both prisms, because that's 40 summons of paid crystals, which is quite expensive, so I'm not going to do that. But I will be going for the sword, probably, instead of prism. So let's level up this arc. Library is going to be pretty nice. I'm looking forward to reading that. <laughs> there we go. Ice drive. I'm still hoping. Uh, I still don't have the Megalodon SSR arc. I still need that because that has ice high drive. That would be pretty useful for Medine, but I don't know if I'm going to use her. Yeah, 100 Mother Souls and a guaranteed SSR is a pretty good deal for 3,000 3, paid crystals, but... And then I can do another temple afterwards and then get a sword if I wanted to, or get a prism instead. Let's see how much I can level this up. I should be able to max it out. No, actually I won't be able to. Yeah, the only thing I'm excited about this arc is the ice drive that I can put on Alice. That's really it. <laughs> Um, yeah, there is a Thunder High Drive on an SSR arc, I just remembered. Thunder High Drive might be useful for Alice, because she doesn't have Thunder High Drive. She's got Ice High Drive. Hey, wait. It changed to red now. I see. We might be able to max out then. Yeah, we should be able to. I've got lo a lot more red souls than blue. Here we go. I might just change her to my support unit, because she's best waifu <laughs> I mean what would be your best waifu in this game I don't know not I probably I like Tinkily but she's only 17 she's kind of one year off but there's some great units there, there you go level 10 got some good XP from that too there you go Arkifa rewards again I could get it right now but it's not that great. Uh, I would probably just farm it in story, so... There you go. Looking pretty nice. I could change my support. I'm going to do that. Just because I like to show off. Sometimes. And she's great, so there you go. Okay. So, before we learn our skills, I'm going to do two more temples. And then save the rest of the crystals. I don't know what because I'm not entirely sure what they're going to be releasing and the next new unit will be uh, I'm, I think they're going to release they released this unit and then next week they're going to do reruns of the other summer units Tinkily and the other one but I already have both of those at this point I don't mind I don't really care what I get but I would take another Alice dupe or uh, the Arca that I don't have, or a dupe of Guardian Angel Lucal, anything like that. So there's a guaranteed red, so it doesn't really matter what the animations are because there's a guaranteed SSR plus at the end. I would be very surprised if it's a dupe of the limited arc. And I personally wouldn't care, because it wouldn't benefit me in any way, shape, or form. So don't be a dupe of the limited arc. Please don't. Yeah, it wasn't good. I'm getting so many of that arc. I've got so many of this. It's plus seven. What? What? I've got so many of this arc. That's fine. I guess it's fine. 100 souls though. So, next lap. I'm glad we don't have to pity the unit. It's great. Next lap is... Yeah, this lap is more expensive. I'm not going to do... I'm only going to do the first step. Because if I go to trading space... I got a training space, I'm pretty sure I need m 9 more pulls, which means I could 
save 300 paid crystals if I were to do 9 single summons, which I'm going to do because I am clever and I am not going to be doing any more paid summons, so I'm going to be really cheap and just do single summons for now. And do 9 single summons because I'm trying to save not go overboard this time, do a bunch of skips, all of them skips, don't expect any reds. There's one, there's number two. I'd be surprised if I were to get a red right here. No. <laughs> give me, I'm still hoping for that SSR arc, please. Give me the one arc I don't have, uh, uh, we're on number three. Now that's number four. Don't lose count. I know how to count, but it's hard to count and talk. Number five, number four. I, I really lost count. This is number 5, right? Maybe? Gold. At least we're getting golds, right? I mean, uh, unit dupe, maybe? No, blue. Uh, I've lost count. I stopped counting. Uh, we did do this single one and then see how many we're done, because I don't want to go too much, because I'm going to be really cheap this time. I could get a prism. Instead of the sword, but I'm going to go for the sword, because it is a pretty strong sword. So, I'm pretty sure I'm probably like one or two off. Two off, there you go. So, let's do two more single pulls, and then we're done with no more summons. For once in a while, because I've been, I've been doing too many summons recently. Uh, with Loxus banner, as well as the collab banner, I did too many summons. So, I'm glad we get to chill now. It's great. Last pull, might as well see who shows up. And we're alone, so we might as well skip this entire one, because it's going to be a blue. There you go, right. Now we can get the sword. So, what I'm going to do, uh, the way I'm going to build her, with equipment, I'm going to equip her paid sword. In content that has enemies that are weaker to thunder, which there is uh, the the Kraken, which is weak to thunder, right? So Alice is going to be pretty damn useful on that stage with the sword. But on other stages that have high resistance to thunder, I'm going to I'm going to remove this sword and put Sword of Lost Souls instead. So let's get the sword. There you go. All my paid credentials gone. And we're at zero. Perfect. We could do 40 summons and get two prisms, but I personally don't want to do that because she is not an overpowered unit. Like, if, if it was like Loxus, then I would get the prisms, but she's still strong, just I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I'm not willing to get the prisms because one prism, 6,000 paint crystals. Two prisms, 12,000 prey crystals. Um, right now, I could definitely afford that, but I'm saving, so... We're done, but no more summons, so we're done. So, there you go. Let's... Learn... As many skills as possible. And we're gonna do what I did, what I have been doing in the past. I'm going to use her in the event by herself. With the current equipment and accessories that I can put on. And then we'll see how she goes. And I, it's one thing to know is she's at plus 50 already. She's at 50 SC already because I got Alice maxed out. I maxed out this Alice because she was pretty good. I did use her for quite a while until they released new units. And then I stopped using her for a while, but she's still great. Um, good thing. Another good thing is I can, I don't have to learn all of these skills because I've already learned. Because I've already learned most of them on normal Alice. There's still a few skills, like, uh, skills on the UR arcs that I haven't learnt yet. I can just put sharp eyes and stuff on, but it means I can put dual wield on her, right? She's got true dual wield, so that's going to be huge. So let's, uh, start learning skills and stuff, enhance and wake and stuff. And once we've done a few of the story stages, we'll be doing, well, event stages, we'll be doing story. I've increased my battle capabilities, however, there is still room for further improvement further training I mean it kind of looks like a uh, robots 
like cyborg type thing like she looks like someone from what is it I don't remember why can't I remember let me have a look let me enhance keep enhancing we won't obviously we can't get her to level 100 because I'm not like a I don't ha I don't have rainbow potions or anything at least we can get a fourth enhance I got visionary light Greatest extent. So now I can awaken. What was it? Um, Hyperdimension Neptunia. She looks like a character from one of the Neptunia games. Uh, if you know what they are, you would exactly know what I mean. She looks like one of the Neptunia characters, right? I I, I swear it does it does. I'm not complaining though. She looks great. Neptunia is great too, but I haven't played much of it. Kind of like Neptune's other form, pretty much. Pretty funny. There you go. So the wards on Alice, this Alice, isn't that great. It doesn't increase damage cover or anything, but... Ward is the last thing you're going to get on this unit because it's not really that much of a good thing. Let's, let's look at the abilities. I'll show the ward and everything. We'll unlock everything. I should still have enough materials to unlock everything. I'm pretty fine with clusters and everything. I'm going to need more rainbow clusters at some point, probably. But at the moment, I'm fine. I'm still working on all three of the collab units. I still haven't maxed them out yet. I got uh, Edward to level 100 today. And my Roy is at around level 98. So I'm getting there. And Al is... Not even close, he's like around 70 something. So this is the ward on this unit. Actually, ice damage cap plus 100 is pretty good. You're gonna, you're definitely gonna want that. I thought it was something else, but ice damage cap plus 100. Definitely get this ward, but uh, once you've already got all of her, everything else unlocked, like her awakens and stuff. So let's just uh, learn all these skills super fast. Goddess Kiss, there we go. First skill unlocked. Goddess Kiss, perfect. Great stuff. I will level, level her up, but I don't have many potions at the moment because I've used most of them on the collab characters. So I don't have many left. This unit is going to be pretty fast. Ether full release. Perfect basically like a honey elixir which is perfect more SC so I'm not going to be able to get her to 100 SC but with the fifth enhance I'll be able to get her to a maximum of 90 without any prisms and I th I'm thinking actually they might add a few prisms in the part two of this event because I'm thinking in the past summer events I think they put at least two prisms in the event, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm hoping they add some prisms in this event because this prism can be pretty useful. Ether blade output boost, there you go. And then all the rest of them. So I'm, what I'm going to do first, I'm not going to equip any other skills on her. I'm just going to see what she does in her kit like I do like always. Because if I start equipping other skills on her, she's going to do, like, a lot better than the other examples and tests that I've done with other units. So, Ocean Slayer, there it is. Done. Ocean Slayer. I do like Ocean Slayer. Very nice. Effective against dragons is going to be pretty huge. Because she's got Ocean Slayer, which is effective against enemies that are weak to thunder. Think about that. She has thunder attacks. And has Slayers that are effective against enemies that are weak to thunder. So she's going to do a lot of damage. Is she going to be better than Ray? Yes or no? Um, I would like to say yes. 
but I also don't want to say yet because Ray has a chance to do extra attacks. Ray's probably going to be better, but Ray's damage cap is quite low. <laughs> Compared to the new units, Ray has a plus 5,000 damage cap, and that's it. But if you put on Solaris, he gets a plus 3,000, but don't include that. He just gets a plus 5,000. Compared to this Alice, she gets like almost, like more than double that, so. Waifu is meta. Everyone agrees. <laughs> I'm going to try and use her as much as possible, well, possible but... Look, I'm, I'm not going to use Logsus all the time because that's going to be pretty boring to just destroying everything with Logsus. But I, I am glad he got, I got Logsus UR too because that's going to be good. So, uh, what arc do I recommend putting on this Alice? If you have any URs, I would recommend to put on Eldravana because that's going to increase a special damage cap and damage by a lot more. So if you're going, if you want her to do more special damage, then put on Eldravana if you have it. But if you want her to mainly focus on skill damage, physical attacks, then Icy Guardian is going to be great for that. Or Solaris is going to be good if you're against enemies that are weak to Thunder. So I think that's all of the skills. I might have missed one or two. I miss three, really. She's still level 1. There's one. I think she's going to be a pretty good unit. She's going to have... She does have pretty high HP. Where's the other one? Last one. Where is it? I can't see it yet. It's sometimes hard to find because I... I don't do it in order. Of, I just try and learn as many as possible. There you go. Proud Force. Amazing. Perfect. It's going to be pretty good with the crits. She doesn't really need any more crit skills. Her stats without anything equipped, pretty low at level 1. But it's kind of expected. Can't compare her to normal Alice. You can see the difference, really. This normal Alice has kind of two sword weapons. Or they're machines. Either sword or machines, I don't really know. But the, the Summer Alice looks more like a human than this one looks more like a robot, you know. This uh, Summer unit is looking way more thick. But I'm not going to go into details because that's kind of not really what this stream is about. <laughs> so, uh, what should we do now? I could level her up. Yeah, we're going to use all these potions, get her to level 44, because I used most of the potions on the collab units. First day at the beach. Yeah, now I can equip the accessories and stuff. She's already got true dual wield. Remember, true dual wield, she's going to do a lot of damage. I definitely want to test that out later, which we will do, but not yet. More XP, I really want to get to level 41, that would be really good. I'll read all those later. I usually say that and I don't. What's her profile like? So, she's a machine, artificial human, job of cyber slayer, amphibious, weapon is a machine, a sword. <laughs> kind of weird. From the White Laboratory. Birthday, February 26th. She doesn't have an age. Makes sense. Underwater movement training can approach marine creatures without alerting them. Tends to stare off into the sea, can adapt to new environments, has difficulty expressing emotions. Yeah, the robot. So, I mean, uh, she doesn't. She looks more like a cyborg. She doesn't really look. She looks more like a human than a robot. My eyes are confusing me, but let's leave it at that. Let's go with equipment. Equip. So, what am I going to use? Obviously, a paid sword because we got that. We got to test it out. We got to use it. And a sword. See, this sword of lost souls. It's going to be very good for Alice, it's going to be great for Alice, but I've currently got it on Logsus, so... And I'm not going to be using it at the moment. So, Aether Blade Type S, there you go. And also, a machine. I would usually use Trishula, 
but for this example I'm not going to use Trishley yet. I'm just going to use any other machine that I have. Perfect. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> this is going to be great for thunder damage. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Accessories now. Obviously, we're going to go all the way to the bottom and put on a paid accessory because it is pretty strong. It's usually at the bottom. I usually find it at the bottom. Where is it? There it is. Now, the second accessory, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on. I'm really not sure. She has ice damage. There was a... Uh, there was an accessory from an event that increased ice damage. Where was it? That one is usually good. More movement speed. Damn, this is going to be super fast. Probably even faster in bed. But anyways, what accessory are we looking for? Um, there was a uh, one that increased ice. Yeah, this one. Physical ice attack damage plus eight percent. You could use that on her because it is from an event. I think it's from an event. It was. Or you could use anything else to increase damage. Thunder attack damage plus 4 is kind of low. More HP and ST recovery speed. I do personally like to use that. Use that, so. Uh, I could put more damage. Or I could just put that on. I'll just put that on. Let's go. We're just going to have this. For the tests and examples that we're going to do, we're going to use this build. Now it is mostly thunder damage for the weapons, but the accessory increases ice damage and chance for special to deal critical damage is going to be good. Continuous speed effect is <laughs> going to be pretty fast. Now let's look at her stats right now. This is without any skills equipped to. Pretty high strength, defense pretty good too. That's pretty much it. A level 44 too. So I've got a lot of mother souls right now. So let's go into the event. I need a visionary radiance, I really need that. Hopefully I can get one. So let's go into the events. I'm gonna be doing changing this team out for Alice with the arc just for testing purposes. Even though it's not the best arc to use on her, I'm just gonna use it on her anyway just because. So let's just double check this. The attribute again was each ally unit of a different gender physical and magic damage taken minus 5%. Duration of buff, to buff supplied to unit by magic plus 20%. Strength and int plus 10% for each unit with this arc equipped. So that doesn't really increase your damage by a lot. It only increases your int and strength by 10% because most support units, most people are not going to use that arc on their support so keep that in mind it's going to be pretty bad so let's go in like this see how she does uh, her skills she has quick what trick quick trigger she has quick trigger so she's going to be able to charge her skills instantly one of her skills instantly so let's see how she does in a few of these event stages and then we'll try out a special which is going to be pretty strong Actually, this is a boss stage, so I probably shouldn't do this stage. Because it doesn't have multiple waves, so I'm not really going to be able to show off a lot of the earth. I always complete all of the event stages before the stream starts, because I have like a... About two hours or so... To get the event done, which is good. Then I can use my tickets and get everything prepared and stuff, it's pretty good. Come on, just load. Game. Load. Please. Now. Don't freeze. I know you're not frozen because I can still hear you. Right? Hello? Well, I'm just going to wait here for a few minutes. Anyway, what can I talk about really? Um, I guess we can talk about Alice as a unit. Or just the event stages. The event stages, there, there is a... I'm probably going to have to close this and just open it again, aren't I? Yeah. Well, this is what my emulator is like. Let's open it again. So, 
So the event, this event does actually have a story this time. I've, I've been kind of surprised that the past few events we've had hasn't had a story. And this wallpaper is just wow. Pretty great stuff. I do like this wallpaper. Someone put it as their wallpaper on their phone, which is kind of funny. We're still looking for that. There you go, now we can continue. Like, uh, people have been asking for a swimsuit or a lifeguard gorm, which I would don't do that. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. This uh, swimsuit, Alice, was a great idea. Not gonna lie. Because I thought Alice would have died in the story. I don't know if that's spoilers, probably is, but... Okay, now we can test her. Which skills are we going to use first? Let's get to Eliza. Skill 3, here we go. Kind of laggy, but... Yeah. The animation of her skill 3 can get... Uh, Cancelled. We might lose. Hopefully not. Yeah, 21,000 damage cap already. Let's use our skill 1. Pretty good. Let's go back. Meteor Rain is going to screw me. I'll wait for this to end with Meteor Rain, then I'll use our skill 3, I think. Yeah, skill 3, there you go. Skill 3 is quite a long animation. Her skill 1 and skill 2 do seem pretty fast. Oh, nice. She's got a surfboard. Ah, I like that. So, yeah, those are her skills. Uh, what I want to do now, I'm going to go into the, this event stage again, but this time use a special skill. You're going to be wondering why and how, I'm going to say, because you are Arx carry. But I'm going to do use you, because you don't do damage. And then I'm going to use Great War of Ruin. And we're going to use a special once. I could use it against the boss or... No, actually, I can use it against the boss because I think the boss is going to be weak to ice. And her special can change to ice attributes, so we're going to do that. Let me just check her weaknesses right now. So, those have a minus... They don't have... They have a resistance to ice, nothing to thunder. I thought they would have a resistance to thunder, but they don't. So, you have a weakness to ice, so if I were to use special... It would be strong against her, so let's just kill all these enemies, then I'll use a special skill against the boss. I do like her skill 1 and skill 2, they're pretty good. Pretty nice, skill 2. Great stuff, right, boss there. I should be able to do damage to her now. Yeah, now I'm going to use a Great Wall of Ruin, which I do have level 10 up skill by the way, and then make sure I focus on the boss. Now let's see how much damage this special is going to do. I do have the accessory so it has a chance to do crits as well. And she is weak. The boss is weak to ice. So the special is going to change to an ice attribute. So this should do some pretty good damage. Uh, it can do more damage with Eldrivana. Let's see how it is. Does it reach damage cap? Ooh. You can see it doing double hits. She's already dead. Wow. Use a skill 3. Now her skill 3 doesn't change the thunder if the thunder is lower. So that's one thing to note too. You're probably going to want to equip Trishula. Definitely. Uh, she does seem pretty good. I'm not going to lie. She does seem pretty good. And she does seem like she's going to be pretty useful. I do like her skills. Now one final test. Like this stage says. The final test. We're going to go into the story stage, like I usually do. We're going to first of all see how she does with normal skills and stuff. Then I'm going to see what her special skill can do at max potential. Almost max potential because I think she's probably going to get more damage cap increases from when she gets the fifth enhance, which I don't have yet. Normal power up an arc 1000 times. There you go, another SSR arc. I, I've been using these SSR gacha tickets and hoping to get the one SSR I don't have, but I still don't have it. Kind of sad. Okay. 
So let's go into the normal stage that we usually do, this one. Find Thorea, God stage. We're just gonna go in like this. Probably. Yeah, because then we can try the special two. But I'm mostly yeah, I can use oh wait, she's got hang on a second. Let me just use her by herself. I, I've realized something else. She has Goddess Kiss with four f full effort release, which means it's kind of like she's got Goddess Kiss with Honey Elixir basically, which is a huge combo. She's got you can restore all SCT, and with with Honey with the Goddess Kiss, which I'm, which she does have, it's gonna be pretty useful. Okay, let's uh let's go in. On this stage, this is God's stage. We're going to see how she does by herself. We're not going to use her special skill. We're just going to spam skills and see how she does. And then we'll do this again. And use her special skill with El Giovanna. And see what her damage can be like. Which is going to be pretty high. So, let's go. So, you don't... You have a weakness of thunder. That's good to know. You have a weakness to... Okay, these enemies are going to be a good thing to know. So, use skill 2. Pretty good numbers there. Let's do full effort release. And now she's got all of her skill stocks. So that she can hold two of her skill three, which is pretty huge. Her skill three is actually pretty strong, not gonna lie. Let's spam skill two a few times. Pretty laggy, I know, but it's still pretty strong. You can see here, pretty good damage numbers. Already hitting over 20,000. I do like this. Normal attack's pretty good too. There you go. With the crits, she's doing pretty good damage numbers. I like this. She already she did charge her special at the end. So that's pretty good. Okay, now one thing one thing I want to do. I'm gonna we're gonna do this one more time. And I'm gonna try and make her special do as much damage as possible. Somehow we got one of the souls from that stage for some weird reason. So what I'm gonna use now is El Giovanna gonna be great. El Giovanna put in Thuria with Great War Ruin and we'll see how this goes. Now I'm gonna instantly use a special when I can. I, I kind of want to know how fast a special can charge compared to normal Alice. I know it's not gonna be as fast but it should still be pretty good. So let's use Great War Ruin and then we're going to focus on an enemy that is weak to thunder, like... See, you, you are not. We're going to do it for you. We're going to see how much damage this does. This should be a very high damage. Watch the damage on this. It's double hits on a special. Oh, wow. Oh, that almost killed him, didn't it? Yeah, look at my more than half damage. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of HP too. That is pretty strong, not gonna lie. I kind of want to use a special again if I can, possibly. So... Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna retreat. Retire. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna focus on the boss this time. And the boss is not going to have a weakness, so this is kind of be a good example to see how much damage she would do if she was up against a boss which had 100 resistance to both thunder and ice, and you had the Sword of Lost Souls. Yeah, she is going to be, she's going to reach a good damage cap on a special. And her skill damage cap are going to be pretty strong too. She's not going to be as good as any other unit like Loxus or the Collab units, but she's still going to be pretty strong. So, let's do this again, but instead I'm going to focus on the boss and look at, look at his HP. And remember, this Alice doesn't have any other skills unlocked right now, only has her base skills. So, let's see how much damage this does. The boss doesn't have any resistance to this or anything so let's see it probably won't do as much but still should be pretty strong wow that was over one mil damage 
That was pretty damn strong, not gonna lie. That was very strong. That was very strong. Now let's finish off this stage. And then we're almost done. Why didn't you use it? Get the full release. This is pretty strong. I like this. She is going to be pretty fun to use. So skill 1 and skill 2 are both pretty spammable. Let's, so let's do this example here. Spam skill 1 and skill 2. Spam normal attacks. How much MP do I get? Look at, <laughs> look at how much MP I just got back from that. And then I must use the, that again. And then spam skill 2. Keep spamming skill 2. And then normal attack again. Normal attack. Get the MP back. And then use full ever release again. And then spam skill 2 again. And then skill 3. I can wait. Special skill time. No, it's already dead. Well. I'm not gonna lie, she's very strong. <laughs> and pretty fun to use as a unit. <laughs> okay. So, her special charges decently fast. Not the fastest. But I'm going to assume she charges faster than someone like a Logsus or anyone like that. Um, another thing to note, uh, if, you, uh, if you're if you equipping her sword, her paid weapon sword, uh, she's going to get her, no her normal attacks are going to get a uh, damage increase because of the sword and all of the, your normal attacks are going to have a thunder attribute. Now, one thing I have never been sure of is if, I'm pretty sure this is the case, but I'm, I think Trishula applies to normal attacks, ignoring resistance too, but I don't know, because I never actually paid attention to it, because I never really cared about normal attacks. But yeah, I do really like this unit, she's going to be very fun to use. Uh, overall, let's go, come to my conclusion of this unit. Overall, she is a very strong unit, and she is going to be very good to use. Uh, if you do have some crystals left over, either try either save them or try for this unit. But I would personally recommend to get this unit because, one, there isn't many ice units. This is the first ice and thunder unit that has fifth enhance. The first new unit with it, anyway. Um... There isn't many ice units in the game, there is Medine, but uh, she's a permanent unit and doesn't have that high of a damage cap increase, and this Alice is going to do better than her. And yes, there is Ray for thunder damage too, but this Alice, in my opinion, I would personally use this Alice more, more than Ray, because... This Alice has more damage cap increase, first of all. And her special is going to do even more damage against single targets. Even though she doesn't have a chance to inflict extra damage, I feel like she's going to do more overall damage than Ray, in my opinion. She might be less useful because she doesn't have things like God Slayer, but you could put that on her. She does have Ocean Slayer, which is pretty useful. So, I feel like she might, she is going to be useful for hard stages. Even though they rated her as a 2.5 and only an S for hard stages and not an SS on Ultima. Ignore that, because she is still going to be a super strong unit, and she looks amazing. <laughs> so, that's a bonus. But yeah, back to what I was saying. She is going to be a very strong unit and definitely worth having. Uh, I wouldn't say it will be worth using a stupid amount of crystals, but... At least use a few crystals to try and get her because she's definitely going to be worth using. Now, would I recommend getting her if you already have normal Alice? Still, yes, because normal Alice and this Alice both have different uses. This Alice is more useful for single bosses, and her skill damage is going to be a lot higher than normal Alice. Even if her hit count isn't the best, her hit count. Might not, might not be as good as normal Alice, but she does have a decent hit count, which can do good damage. So, she is a great unit. Definitely pull for her, but she's not a must-have. She is definitely a top-tier unit, but you don't need her that badly. But if you do like waifus, waifus, then get her, because that was the main reason why I wanted her. 
I personally didn't care if she was the best unit in the game, I just wanted her because she's going to be a good unit to use in content. So, and the arc, again, the arc isn't very good, the attribute is pretty bad and, and kind of strange as to what they did with it. The skills on the arc are the main reason why you're going to want the arc. If you get the arc like I did, like just out of random luck, and you weren't aiming for it, then that's great, that's a good bonus, because it does have some useful skills in that arc. Like, Ice Drive is going to be pretty useful, as well as the some other skills, like Summer Festival might be useful for some units, because it's only 3 SC, and Orgon Ring is going to be pretty useful for future units, maybe, possibly, and a few units might benefit from that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say, is... Uh, if you want her, then yes, might, you, sh you could use some crystals for her if you want to, but don't go all out for her unless you really want to, because she's not needed that badly. If you're low on crystals, then save your crystals. That's what I'd recommend personally. But if you want her, then go for her. So that's pretty much it for this stream. Great units. I'm definitely going to be building her, using her in the event stage. Uh, one thing I could do right now is quickly go to her and change her skills because I could equip since I've built Alice all of the skills can be unlocked here so I can equip a bunch of skills like attack up max and all the attack ups and uh and vital stuff god slayers um Ardor if you have Ice Guardian Ardor is going to be useful Thunder Attack Race 2 you could put on. <laughs> That's from the UR though. Um, something else. Surprise Attack could be useful maybe. It's pretty good. Sword Boost. There we go. Here's a good stuff. Sword Boost. Sword Boost. Bam. There you go. And Machine High Boost. Bam. There you go. These are going to be pretty good on her because Sword Boost with Sword High Boost. Machine Boost with Machine High Boost and Mega Boost going to be a pretty good combo. Uh, sharp Eyes. If you're not hitting damage cap, then put on Sharp Eyes. But if you are, if you can hit damage cap with other skills, then you don't need Sharp Eyes. Power Circulation might be useful. But... the Her paid weapon is Continuous Brave, so you probably don't need Power Circulation. And that's all I'm going to put on her for now. It's not much, but there you go. So that's pretty much it for, for this stream. Thanks for coming. Uh, this was pretty good luck. I'm not going to lie. I had some pretty good luck this time. I know I've been pretty good, had pretty good luck the past few summons. But Loxus Banner, I did have to do a lot of summons just to get the units. But I was lucky with the UR. With the collab, I wasn't very lucky with getting the arc in part one but i did manage to get it but i had to do a few hundred pulls so that wasn't that lucky but i'm glad i was pretty lucky this time now i can save the rest of my crystals for future units like i don't know what they're going to release next like the next unit could be a permanent unit or it could be another doh unit i have no idea i'm pretty sure they're going to do a rerun of the two summer units by the way which are these two summer units here, they're going to do a rerun of these, and they did buff these. So I guess we can go over that a little bit quickly. So with Tim Killy, she didn't get much of a buff. Her trait got a damage cap, and more duck damage, and that's mostly it. Uh, she didn't get that much of an increase. So, she's still a good unit, but I personally prefer using Jen instead. Now this unit did get quite a good buff. Her trait at the moment has a plus 5,000 ice attack damage cap. Now that's pretty strong. Uh, I, I don't remember. It might get to a plus 8,000. Unless I'm thinking of other units like Dilmordo. It's got a pretty good buff for plus 8,000 damage cap for fire. But even though we've got Roy, so we don't really need Dilmordo right now. But it could be good units using what to say. So. I've been talking long enough. I'm going to be doing... The event in my own time and building a unit 
this unit like I usually do. So yeah, thanks for coming. I'll see you when I see you whenever that is. Hopefully in the next video or stream. Uh, there might not be another unit unit for another few weeks. Because I think the next two weeks they're going to be doing reruns of summer units and events. So it might be a little while until my next live stream of a new unit. But I'm going to be prepared for them. In case if it is a strong unit that I do want. I'm going to be able to get it because I do have enough crystal saved up for that. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you whenever that is in the next video or stream. Like I said, if you have any questions then leave them in the comments because it will always be uploaded in the video later on. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye. And good luck with your summer pools if you do plan 